Welcome, boys. We don't have much, but you're welcome to browse at your leisure. Take care, boys. There's an elevator that should take us straight down to the mine. Wonder if the tomb's inside. Those two went to grab a bite in that glorified dining car they call a restaurant. Ready to set out? I'll manage somehow. Feeling a little out of my element. We're a foreign species in this environment. Mind we don't end up prey. Right. Good tip. Footing's bad. Watch your step. As best I can. Go at your own pace. We'll wait. Don't push yourself, Ignis.
Is it too much to ask the royal procession sticks together? Too much to ask you to shut it? No, you weren't. It's just...
They parked here? Huh. Wish we could write them a ticket. Nothing but a giant roadblock. Eh, ironic for a vehicle. If we get its motor running, perhaps we can move it out of the way. in the darndest places. Glad you're taking this seriously. This looks promising. Is it operational? We'll see. Hey, what are you stopping for? I'm not. Let's see here. In case of power failure, use backup generators. There's a key in the shed. Try thinking of others.
it's over. I only wish I could do more. You staying alive is enough. Found it. Good. That takes care of the key. And the generators? Apparently, they're back by the control panel. Then let's go. Don't run ahead. I don't know that. You know, so much for sticking together.
It's proving a challenge. What did you expect? Where is it? Right here. How does it look? She's wired and ready. Give it a go. And don't blow it up. Oh, thanks for the advice. Did it work? Yep. One more to go. for long though hurry up and move the machine yes sir Sounds like we're clear. Grand. Then let's move. Try thinking of others. what it takes to do what to face your ancestors and convince them to lend you their strength got a long road ahead can you see this through to the end Whether I like it or not, I've got a duty to fulfill, as king. <laughs> You're damn right you do. Then that means you'd better start taking this seriously. to go. We did it! Together! <sighs> this cave is huge! The tomb's further in? You want to wait here? Alone. Here. Not what I said. Something stinks around here. Don't slip and fall in whatever that is. Hey, knock! Hey, knock! Hey, 
What is this? I hate eggs. Do we really want to know what's back there? <laughs> that looks like a mouth. Is that a space? What? What, what is, is it? it? Something real bad.
it alone, huh?
is wrong with that thing? Whisking them just makes a mess. Better fry them. I think we found it! Just wish they found a better place to build it. moment. Is everything okay? It bloody well isn't. And I won't suffer this pointless bickering in silence any longer. <sighs> Let's be frank. My vision hasn't improved, and probably won't. Yet in spite of this, I would remain with you all. To the very end. <laughs> Sorry, but I object. War is a matter of life and death. But we'll be there! It's not about us looking out for him! Uh-huh. Well, then he should be free to choose. There's more to it than just what he wants. I know full well! I won't ask you to slow down. If I cannot keep up, I will bow out. <sighs> what says His Majesty? Noct, you are king. One cannot lead by standing still. A king pushes onward, always, accepting the consequences and never looking back. Gladio, Nort will take his rightful place, but only once he's ready. Have it your way. We're still taking a big risk. We better all be ready. 
You guys mind if we stop in Tenebrae? Eh, might as well hop off. If it helps him move on. Look at our wares. Thank you. Come again. All set for boarding? Yeah, well, let's roll. In that case, hop aboard. We'll be leaving shortly. We're here for you. Yeah, let us help you. And we're off! Are we clear? Crystal. Hey, watch your step. You're not pushing onward? Not at his expense. Fair enough.
Feels good to ride the rails. Sure does. Eager to drive once we're in Gralia? <laughs> if they'll let me. <laughs> we're fortunate to have the regalia at all. We owe the First Secretary our thanks. She'd get more thanks if she gave us a discount. Those transceivers are top-notch. I recall when the Hydrian raged. In the midst of the Empire's retreat, one conspicuous craft remained behind. The Chancellor's. <laughs> the last thing I remember seeing was his ship heading for the altar. I fell unconscious and was powerless to stop him. I'm just glad you're alive. Oh. Is someone else there? Gladio. He just came back. Where did he go anyway? On a brief reconnaissance. Something caught my ear. Hey, Captain. Mission complete. Splendid. So what caught your ear? Rumors of longer nights. They've been growing longer day by day. There was talk of it back in Lucis, but recent days have shown an unseasonably sharp change. Huh. Should this trend continue, before long, there won't be daylight. Well, it's not out of the question. The Empire has already slain half of the Six. <laughs> no wonder the whole world's in disarray. I guess. And longer nights mean more demons. Seen that with our own eyes. I happened to overhear a fellow passenger discussing this very same phenomenon. So he sent yours truly to seek him out. Nice police work. Well, don't want to keep him waiting. No, we don't. Back in a moment. Sure. There you are, buddy. Did you see this? Oh, it's unreal. Yeah. Never seen anything like it. Doesn't make any sense. What's going on? It's a real mystery. I'm not liking that snow cloud. Kind of gives me the chills. Like, who comes up with this stuff? I couldn't dream something like this if I tried. It's a wondrous world. The hell are Whoa, you doing here? What's going on? Easy there, buddy. Oh. Didn't see that coming. You all right? Shut up! Be careful there! Wait, is this for real? Scaring me. Seriously, man. Cut it out. It's not safe. Plus, you're causing a scene. Quit playing around, okay? You think this is funny? Dude, are you seriously trying to kill me? Why wouldn't I? I've got you now. What are you after following me around this whole time? It's all your fault! What are you talking about? Do you really mean that, Noct? Of course I 
I do? You can't talk your way out of this. You won't even let me. Knocked. Please, can't we talk for a sec? Never. <laughs> Knocked. Are you okay? No. Where's Art? Wait. He's here? If he is, that would explain all this weird stuff happening. I bet he's behind the train stopping. Ignis and Gladio went up to inspect the engine room. I say the two of us go check out the rear. Yeah.
on his feet. How bad is he?
What's wrong? Ignis, you've got to stop this thing. Prompto fell off the train. I pushed him. I mean, Arden made me. I don't know where he is, but we can't leave him. Stay calm, Noct. I'm as concerned for Prompto as you are. But stopping the train would endanger everyone on board. We'd be sitting ducks for the demons. What do we do? First, we drop the passengers off at Tenebrae. We'll be arriving shortly. What about Prompto? Given the Chancellor's involvement, it's probable he's no longer where we left him. In any case, he may try to contact us. Let us wait and hope for now. Can you make your way here? Gladio's with me. Are the two of you okay at least? Yes. Okay, on my way. Huh? I'll be there as soon as I take care of these stowaways. And things just got worse. Well, look who's here. Haranea. Guess we've got you to thank for this mess. More to it than meets the eye. You want to know who to thank? Come with me. <laughs> K. 
can't wait to hear this. Huh? What did you do to your eyes? Oh, uh, just a flesh wound. Can you see? I'm afraid not. Wow, that sucks. It's a cruel world. Uh, wasn't there one more of you guys? Yeah, there was. <sighs> we lost track of him. Is he dead? I, I don't know. Then quit moping, keep hoping. And in the meantime, handle what's at hand. So if it's not you, we thank. Oh, thank the demons. Pawns of the Imperial Army. The army that you fight for. Fought for. My men and I are in the search and rescue business now. <laughs> you mentioned being part of the relief effort. We have a favor to ask. Ask away. In light of what you've told us, we can't allow the other passengers to continue on. Sure, leave them to me. But who's gonna drive the train? Now that you mention it, yeah. You know anyone? I do. In fact, I know two. Your new engineers. Biggs and Wedge. No need to worry. They can take a lickin'. Only if we have to. What's all this about? Driving a train to Gralia. That all. Well, who would you have me ask? You got us there. We'll do it. Hey, really appreciate you going out of your way. Yeah. No sweat. Hey, thanks for the lift. We're happy to help. Can't say the climate will be as cooperative, though. You know? Right, especially the gorge. The place is freezing. Makes sense what with the Ice Goddess's cold corpse lying around. It's a rather long ride, so I suggest you bundle up before we ship out. By the way, I bumped into a woman from the manor. Used to serve House Flore. Must have gone off looking for you. Said she had something important to discuss. With me? Guess I ought to find her then. So, you've cut your ties with the Empire? Yeah. The only way we could help the people was by leaving the army. Lady A would about had it with them, as it were. Lady A? Aranea, the Commodore. Ah. Nothing but demons in the capital. Meanwhile, the Crystal's just sitting there. No one in the army signed up for this. What about the civilians? Hold up in their homes. They're either lying quiet behind closed doors or lying dead. Your guess is as good as mine. We'll be waiting on board. Give us a holler when you're ready to shove off. Shall we? Yeah. The Chancellor is running some circus. My word. Is that you, Prince Noctis? I... Uh, yeah. Have we... Oh, blessed be the stars. Just look at what a fine young man you've grown into. I am Maria, a retainer in service to House Flore. I doubt you'll remember me after these long years. I, um... can't say I do. Don't worry. Who I am is of little import in light of what I wish to discuss. Lady Lunafreya risked everything to spirit the Ring of the Lucii away from the Citadel. Did she deliver it to you? Yeah. 
stars above. My fears have been assuaged. Lord Ravis too will be overjoyed to hear this news. Ravis too. to fail me. No, I cannot accept it. <sighs> By your hand, it must be done. To deliver the ring and inspire the king is your calling. You mustn't fall. But I lack the strength to go on. Find it, Luna Freya. You have the will. Go to Noctis. Show him the truth of your heart. I understand you will go hence to the Imperial Capital. Yeah. Lord Ravis has King Regis' glaive in his safekeeping, and it was his wish to return it to you, my prince. Though I imagine it will not be easy for you to find each other. I'll get it from him somehow. I pray it shall be so. About the crystal. Remember how I said it was locked away? Uh, yeah. They really don't allow anyone near the thing. The Emperor himself never got close to it. The lab rats had a theory that the crystal posed some kind of threat to the demons. The way they see it? That's the reason the Chancellor had the Emperor go after it in the first place. Hmm. Dunno, but that theory holds water in my book. of his chosen son. Yet in Tenebrae, the two found solace. It was not the Oracle who assuaged their fears. But the girl, she holds the true power. 
I have little to offer a king, other than the voice afforded the oracle. Nevertheless... And... I'm afraid you might find this foolish. But... To be together with Noctis again... Even if only for a short while... It... Would mean the world to me. I do not seek to guide him, merely to stand beside him. Lady Lunafreya worried she was burdening you with the wedding. That's not true, is it? No, not at all. to Lady Lunafreya's address on the radio. To think she gave that speech in the very place she was supposed to be wed. I can only imagine how she must have felt. Ready to depart. Just swapped out the damage cards for some new ones. Give one of us a holler when you're ready to shove off, then. Dining car's open. If you need a break. Shall we shove off then? Climb aboard. Don't worry about the civilians. They're in my good hands. Can't say the same for you. Watch yourselves in the capital. We will. Thanks, Arnea. We'll see you around. It's... snowing. Get your ass on board! Yes, sir. Look at all that snow. No wonder it's so cold in here. We must be approaching the Glacian's cadaver. Won't be a blessing if all we got's a body. Let us hope we pass through the gorge without incident. It's what's after the gorge I'm worried about. <laughs> <laughs> 